Crewmates, welcome on board the MSC Seashore. We are here for a seven night sailing, so if you're interested in more information about the vessel, be sure to check out our playlist on our channel. We'll have daily vlogs for all seven days, as well as a full and complete ship tour coming your way. But for today's video, I want to take you around our cabin, show you our accommodations for the sailing. We do have a balcony stateroom. So let's go ahead and get it started. Our tour of our room on the MSC Seashore begins right now. All right, so here we are on deck 15, starboard side. Uh, midship elevator is just there at that green light to give a frame of reference. And we turn and we find our room 15, 15, 2, 1, 5, 1, 5, 2. So you just uh, tap your room key right there on the RFID reader and head inside. Let's take a look. So here's a quick view inside the cabin right when we enter. We do have the curtains drawn right now that go out to the balcony because we'll get to that in just a little bit. But first, let's start with the entryway here. Right when we enter the cabin, we'll find some of the usual players like your safety information for your mustard drill, things like that. You do have a peephole with a cover here. Slide that up and down. Uh, you have your handle with your deadbolt lock right there. Main light switch for the room is there. And then you do have your slot where you input your room key and it does actually need to be your room key. If you try a old hotel card or an arcade card or something like that, it won't work. This light will just flash red over and over. It has to be an actual room key in order to operate the lights and air conditioning and all that stuff. Now up here is a handy feature. You can press these buttons if you need your room made up and it will actually turn on the light. Let me show you right outside there to let your stateroom attendant know. So I'm gonna turn that back off. You see the orange light went off. Now if I hit D and D, do not disturb, blue light comes on in here and blue light comes on out there as well. You also have a few hanging hooks right when you enter the room as well, across from the entry to the bathroom. Now, one thing I wanna point out, well, first here is the thermostat for the room that's there. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, up for warm, down for cool, but there is a light switch here and this actually is for the bathroom. So let's go ahead and open the door, head inside here. On the back side of the door, we will find a couple of hanging hooks there as well. And then we will have our toilet. And I like the way they laid out this bathroom because you have plenty of room here on the toilet. Your legs aren't jammed into a wall or anything like that. And then once we enter inside, just have the uh, paper and the cleaning brush, things like that. There is an announcement speaker in here and a fan as well. And when we turn to the other side, you have a plug up top for an electric shaver. And then we have our lighted vanity area. A few shelves here on the side, as well as a magnified makeup mirror, though it doesn't light up. And then you do have a couple of holders here. You can put toothbrushes or things like that inside. Soap dispenser built into the sink there. Just the one sink, pretty small, but it gets the job done. Now down below, you do have a handle you can hang a towel or something on. And then these doors do open to reveal the cabinet space down below. That's where you'll find your trash can and uh, tissue paper, like Kleenex kind of stuff. Now over in here, we actually have a tub shower combo in this room. It's a little bit different depending on which room you have, but you can see the pretty good sized tub in there with the handle. This is interesting how they did the towels here. They just drew the clothesline across and uh, hung the towels up. There are some racks here back in the back of the shower as well. And when we look towards the front, we do have the adjustable shower head. It's also removable, can slide that up and down. You do have shampoo and shower gel dispensers built in there, as well as like a soap or razor rack down below. And then of course the controls for the water. So now heading into the main part of the room, one thing I wanna point out, it's a little small, but I like it, is that they have this separated trash can. So there's an area for food waste, an area for paper, an area for plastic, helps promote recycling, which I really like. And they also have these little shelves here you can store things in. Not sure exactly what, but it's there for the option if you'd like. Have the vanity area, we'll get to that in just a minute. Over here, the bed and the couch, we'll also get to those in just a minute. But first I wanna turn all the way around here and show this area, which looks like a wall, but it is not. It's actually the closet area. So we can just slide this door like that, watch. Nice, slow, soft close, catches it so it doesn't make a big loud bang. Uh, we have two cubby slots up above, and then there is one spot here with the uh, safe in it. Not very big, that's a smaller safe there, but you do have that to use, and then you have two other cubby spots down below, and then three drawers below that, which have a nice lining inside of them, and these are also soft clothes, which is great. Now we can slide this back over, and we can slide this one open to show the other side of the closet. So up top is a shelf right now. They have the little duvet cover for the bed that they'll use on days that aren't boarding days. Right now there's a, a suitcase protector on the bed. Then we have our hanging rack with our different hangers. And then down below that 
big space here for this little shelf. You can see it has our luggage on it, so that kind of gives you some scale. Then down below, two smaller cubbies. You could probably put some shoes or something like that in there. Store them away inside of your closet area. Loving the clownfish artwork there. And then down below is the sofa that I mentioned a little bit ago. Main thing to point out with this sofa is that it is not a sleeper sofa. This is just a standard couch. So uh, this room can only accommodate two passengers, something to keep in mind. Now, as we turn around from the sofa opposite, again, we will find that vanity area that I mentioned. So you do have your kind of light up mirror there. The mirror itself doesn't light up. You have lights up above. And then you have those shelves over there on the side, your area for ice, ice bucket, glasses for drinking water. And then down below, you see it says mini bar. So this is not a mini refrigerator for you to use. This actually has things stocked inside of it. Some alcohol, some juice, soda, water, things like that. And they actually have a mini bar menu here to give you an idea of the prices. And you can also fill that out if you need anything restocked. So you have that option there. Now back up top, again, all this paperwork here, just kind of give you some safety information, information about internet, blah, blah, blah. And the room service menu, you can scan there. But I want to point out this, this is really cool. This little thing is actually a built-in wireless charger for your phone. So if your phone is compatible with wireless charging, you can throw it right on there and it will charge it up. Really nice feature. Down below, we do have a small pull-out drawer, which is what, where we will find the hair dryer. And then below that, we have two things that actually come out. An ottoman for the couch, and then there's like a bench seat to sit at here at the desk vanity area. So that's pretty cool too. Up top, we do have the phone mounted on the wall instead of over on the nightstand, which is also a nice feature. Clear up some room over by the bed. And then you'll have these three drawers that pull out here. Again, soft closed. Two little cubby spots over on the end. And then we have all of our plugs. Now the light switch in the middle controls the lights up above the vanity here. You do have two standard American outlets and uh, two USB. One says high power on the left. Then you have two European plugs over here on the right. Up above that, we do have this little slot here. Could probably hold some paperwork, maybe a magazine or a book or something. And then a little spot for the remote, which controls the TV, flat screen, mounted here. And I do like this feature, that this is a full pullout and extended mount. So you can pivot it, turn it towards the bed or the couch. It's also easy to access the ports in the back. So if you want to try to plug in some kind of streaming device or something like that, much easier to access than in other rooms on other cruise ships. Now we'll turn to the bed space here. Now, like most other cruises, you can have the option to split the beds into two twins. We said put them together into big one big bed. Uh, you're going to get the same kind of thing here on either side. You're going to have this cool little geometric kind of shaped nightstand with the two cubbies built in. And then uh, light switches up above control the uh the lights for the room actually over the ceiling and then you have these lights mounted on either side so each person kind of has their own two light switches there one controls the big light spot one controls this reader light which you can turn and pivot and point in different directions only difference is that side has a usb plug built in next to its light switch so i don't know one person gets a light a usb plug the other person just gets a standard light switch so you have to fight fight amongst yourselves as to who's going to get that. Uh, but you see, you get a nice bed space here. Again, they have the luggage protector on there right now, so that won't always be there. But this is nice. They do put two towels in the room here, give you a little card with some information about that. So you're free to use these at the pool or take them off the ship as long as you don't lose them. Because if you do, you'll be charged for them. Okay, one other thing to point out in the bed space here is that you do have this big full-length mirror attached to the wall. It is huge. So nice option if you're getting ready. Check out your outfit, all of those things. Now we have, again, those curtains I mentioned over there. Head out to the balcony, so let's give a look over there. And before we head outside, did want to point out there is a light switch here for the light on the balcony itself. And like most staterooms on cruise ships, you do have two sets of curtains here, although they are a bit different, right? Usually you have kind of like a blackout curtain, and then you have kind of like a thin, I always call it like a day shear. Not so here, both of these are dark blackout. This one's just a little bit more decorative, but you can push those all the way back there and open up that view out to the balcony. Sun is shining out there. Pretty standard setup here. You know, flip the handle up to open it. There is a safety lock up high, so that's always nice to see. And of course you do have a step up to get out to the balcony, so you always wanna be careful there. Let's go ahead and head outside and take a look. Outside on the balcony, and there is the light that I mentioned. The switch inside turns on. I have it flipped on there so you can actually see it even though it's bright and sunny. 
out on the balcony. It's a pretty good space out here. It's not the largest balcony we've ever seen, certainly not the smallest. You do have the two chairs out here and the small little ottoman that you could probably use as a makeshift table to hold a plate or something like that. And then you have the, uh, the glass all the way through here, so it's a nice, pretty unobstructed view, just the one rail up top. And then you're out, open to the sea. Look at that. Sun's starting to come down there. Beautiful blue waters. Hey, Symphony of the Seas. <laughs> How's it going? So there you go. Nice, nice view up here on deck 15. Starboard side. Well, there you have it, friends. That is the tour of our room on board the MSC Seashore. We hope you found it helpful and informational, and we hope you'll also check out those other videos in the MSC Seashore playlist, daily vlogs, and the full and complete ship tour. You'll find all that fun action there. And if you're interested in sailing on board the MSC Seashore or any other cruise, we can help make that happen. Feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video, and it is completely free to you. So we hope we will hear from you soon. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video, but we're signing off. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!